Yo, old beast, this one is special. We got World TV, you know how we do. This year's our year, World TV year. Ain't no other TV like Whoa. Um, can you tell me, tell me what your training's been like leading up to this fight? Uh, pretty much the same as normal. My trainers went well. I've uh, been training with people like James Dillon, Paul McVie, Dean Riley, Alan Love. So good UK ranked, European ranked fighter. So training with these guys has got me ready for this fight. Are you purely MMA or do you have a Thai boxing background as well? Yeah, uh, actually I have a bit of a wrestling background. I've been to like European and World Wrestling Championships and stuff. So unusual for a British fighter coming from a wrestling background. So I've just liked to transition into MMA and see how it goes. Um, are you more comfortable on the ground or, or standing? Yeah, obviously my wrestling background, I say I'm more comfortable on the ground, but obviously training with good strikers like sort of James Dillon, my stand-up is getting better every day. I'm starting to get more comfortable in every range rather than just being a sort of a straight-out grappler. Do you, do you know much about your opponent coming into this fight? Uh, yeah, I know he's got uh, trains at Team Cowboy and I've seen a couple of his fights. Seems like good stand-up, sort of rangy striker, likes to kick in the a lot, so I think he'll look to keep the fight standing. Have you, um, have you planned any strategies around the, vi the footage you've seen? Uh, I've looked at footage, but normally I just try and get my own game, pl uh, game plan off rather than looking at my opponent's game plan. So I'll be trying to put sort of my imprint in the fight rather than letting him get his strategy off. Thanks for joining us on WoW TV. Wish you all the best in your fight. Um, two and oh professional. It's my third, third professional fight. Um, I went six and oh semi-pro. So it's my ninth actual fight, but uh, only my third professional. Fighting against Kieran Malone. Lad from Scotland. Are you feeling quite confident coming into this fight then? Yeah, I'm always confident. Um, excited, dead calm, relaxed, so can't wait to get in there. Are you uh, are you glad to be uh, to be fighting out Carbon? Yeah, I've, I've always trained the Carbon from when I first started martial arts. Uh, I think we're the best gym in Europe at the moment. A lot of people agree with us. We've got loads of brilliant fighters. We've got five lads fighting in the UFC, so plenty of good training partners and uh, couldn't ask for a better gym. How's your training camp been for this fight? Um, everything's been brilliant. We had a few lads fighting in the last couple of UFCs, so we had loads of people, every, everyone dead fit, ready to go. Uh, a few lads, we've got another fighter fighting on here tonight, Greg Severs. So everyone's coming in, coming in fit at the same time, so good. Hi, Uchi, thanks for joining us after your fight. Thanks very much. Can you talk us through your fight? Um, I had four Kieran Malone, wrestler, come out here. Uh, he done what I expected, shot in quite early after a bit of a uh, trade. I felt I defended it well, caused him a, a, a little switch. Ended up getting back up, getting top position and finishing it with uh, some elbows.
Fantastic fight, Uti. Thanks very much. Um, are you pleased with the result, obviously? Yeah, everyone's been talking it up, saying he's a big prospect and, and saying the same about me and he might have been fighting tonight, but in the back of my head I wanted to get him out there in the first, out winning the first round like I have in the other fights. And I managed this, so... What's, um, what's next for you then, Uti? I um, don't know, just keep fighting. Next year, on a busy year, fighting on all Mac shows and just doing whatever my coach, Colin Lennon, sells me to. Are you going to have a good break over Christmas and New Year now, then? Yeah, it's a little break now. Thanks a lot for joining us on MoTV, Uti. It's a pleasure to watch you. No problem, thank you.